Good morning, judges. I am Guo Jing, and we are from Maris Della High School. And our research topic is the study of bacterial resistance to different brands of mouthwash. Since mechanical dental care methods such as brushing and flossing are inefficient in control of oral plaque, mouthwashes are required. Mouthwashes normally contain chemical antimicrobials such as CHX, triclosan, CPC, fluorides. Studies have shown that these chemical antimicrobials are more effective than brushing and flossing. However, based on recent studies and hypotheses, antimicrobials are likely to select for resistance and lower microorganism sensitivity. The objective of this study is to investigate if resistant mutant strains of bacteria will appear if mouthwashes are used at lower concentrations or if exposure timings are less than what is recommended on the bottles. Tests were also carried out to determine the effect of concentration of different mouthwashes on both bacteria and effects of different rinsing time. Mouthwashes were also used by random subjects to determine the amount of bacterial colonies in the mouth before and after use. We have divided the methods and materials into three parts: preparation, the in vivo test, the in vitro test. For the preparation, brand S. Brand C and Brand P were tested with bacteria at 10 to the power of 5 colony forming units per ml. Brand L and Brand D were tested with bacteria at 10 to the power of 8 colony forming units per ml. During the in vivo test, volunteers were instructed to swipe their mouths with a cotton bud. After using a mouthwash for 30 seconds, they swiped their mouths again. The cotton buds were then used to swipe LB agar plates, which were then incubated. For the in vitro test, 0.1 ml of bacterial culture was vortexed with 0.9 ml of mouthwash in a microtube. The internal surfaces of the microtube were then swiped with a cotton bud, which were then used to streak LB agar plates. After incubation, bacterial colonies were extracted from the plates with the greatest concentration of and were cultured in LB broth overnight. The cycle was then repeated. This is the results section. We have separated the results section into two parts, in vitro and in vivo. For this test, we use brands L, D, S, C, and P. For in vitro testing, we for brand L and brand D, we use 10 to the power of 9 CFU per ml bacteria. L was more effective at inhibiting growth and eliminating E. coli than S. aureus. D showed similar inhibiting and eliminating effects as L, with the only difference being that D was much stronger. For the next three mouthwashes, S, C, and P, 10 to the power of 5 CFU per ml bacteria was used. These three mouthwashes had initial success at preventing bacterial growth. However, as resistant strains developed, they could not develop, eliminate bacterial growth of both E. coli and S. aureus. For in vitro testing, D showed the best results in killing bacteria, with L coming in second. D and L showed bactericidal effects, while the others showed bacteriostatic effects. For in vivo testing, all mouthwashes showed more growth after subjects had used them than before. Let's proceed to the discussion part. Based on the results, it was unexpected that more bacteria were present after rinsing. Here are the explanations. Various types of bacteria in mouths grow at stagnant places under the protection of biofilm. The planktonic bacteria are adhered on the surface of the oral cavity. They started to grow bigger and bigger until a layer which is thick enough to protect the bacteria inside is formed. The layer is known as biofilm. Firstly, we already knew that in mouths, bacteria grow at hard to reach places within biofilm. The antimicrobial properties of saliva are proved less able to penetrate biofilm. However, mouthwashes containing CHX, triclosan, and phenols is able to penetrate biofilm and remove the plaques located at hard-to-reach places in the mouth. This leads to an increase in amount of bacteria caught by the cotton wool. Hence, more bacteria are found after the rinsing. The results shown in this slide are from brand D, a mouthwash that contains chlorhexidine aka CHX. Research had shown that chlorhexidine is able to significantly reduce the amount of S. aureus. In addition, mouse rings that contains chlorhexidine could el eliminate S. aureus in the second cycle. It can be seen that higher concentration of brand D could reduce S. aureus more effectively. This was due to the radical effect of chlorhexidine, which causes slower recolonization time of bacteria. Bacteria exposed to lower concentration of CHX might not be eliminated entirely and proliferate when exposed to LB. It is mostly thought that alcohol is a main active ingredient in mouthwash, however it is not. It is shown that alcohol below the concentration of 30% have little antimicrobial effects on S-mutants. 
Not only our results, but also other studies show that a mixture of essential oils can reduce plaque and bacterial growth, and hence the active ingredients are actually essential oils. Let's look at the components of brand L. It contains a mixture of four different essential oils that act as active ingredients. They eliminate microorganisms by disrupting the cell wall, which indirectly affect the enzymatic activities. As what I explained before, brand L contains only 26.9 of percent of alcohol, hence it does not play a role in a bacterial activity. Here, alcohol plays a role as solvent of essential oils in mouthwash for better penetration effect. Our conclusions. Brand L and Brand D showed the highest antimicrobial effect. No resistant strains emerged when undiluted mouthwashes were used. Resistant strains tend to emerge easier when mouthwashes were used diluted, while reduced timing of rinsing did not show any significant effects. In vivo tests of mouthwashes showed more bacteria present on the surface of tongue and gums, which is due to the disruption of biofilm accumulation. CHX is still the most effective, but more tests have to be run to determine if long-term use of diluted CHX mouthwash will lead to emergence of resistant strains at undiluted concentrations. That's all right. Thank you.